Guys, roughly 92% of our audience are male. That's weird. It's a gaming channel. There are a lot of things in life that we want to help people with, right? Yeah. Yep. And I figure one of those things might be talking to women. A lot you of know, people have them. a hard time talking to women, don't they? What we're going to talk to you about today is how to talk to women. So I actually got some data from single women. Oh, wow. Who are these women? Yeah. Huh? Well, I went to a soup kitchen. Right. And met some fine single ladies. Was, was, T- was Tina there? Tina was there. There you go. Okay, Tina was there. Yeah. This, this she was trying you... to smoke a rat, by the way, mm. which was weird. This gave you an excuse to get on Tinder, didn't it? No, no, I did not get on <laughs> Tinder. These are actually single girls I know between the ages of 24 and 35. They gave some pretty good advice. Guys seem to mess up a lot when they're trying to make a good first impression. So I thought we'd go over a few things there. Uh, but before we go over the data that I've received, I want to know what you guys do or what you have done. I have in a the YouTube past. channel. No, not uh, what you, is that what you use? That's how it does. We're talking about use. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What? Oh, that's that's your that's your pickup line. You said, "What do you do?" No, like what, you don't know what I do. You didn't let me finish. Okay. What do you do when you approach a girl? Like oh. what? What technique? What do you? What do you say? You tell them that you have a gaming channel. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's what I thought channel. you were You're saying. In. Yeah, yeah. You but not everybody's so lucky. You know what? Hmm. Do you? No, I'm I'm waiting, you asshole. I don't know what? what you don't know what? Okay. Let me. What? Let's face it. A hookup type of a thing um you know laughter is uh, that's all good that impression um stability is uh, is uh, the maintaining of course your attractiveness uh, stability is everything uh, and confidence is gigantic but of course making someone laugh kind of shows your confidence you know, right. they, they, they tie together that's right it's a, it's a double banger no pun intended so no so what do you do what that. do you do simon yeah. to get the ladies I uh, usually squeeze my nipples and make like and crying works. baby noises, and they all laugh. <laughs> 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 and you just keep doing it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. what do you do? I was. I'm not an approacher. Mm-hmm. I will oh, not okay. approach. I let the situation pan out on its own, and see if there's interest in the air naturally. But yeah, you just hang out. Yeah, it's hang not going to work for everybody. No, I know Dralis. it's not. I know it's not. Well, Dralis is a pretty handsome guy. He is. This is not, this is not my... I'm so not. he could walk over and start slobbering in the corner and somebody yeah. would say, Or oh, pinch my nipple number? and cry. Yeah. <laughs> Neeps, hmm? you're next. I, oddly enough, approach a woman the same way I approach a male. I treat them like a person. That's I don't crazy. see sex. That's insane. That can is that get a good sticky. thing? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I How do like you know you're, you're screwing I'm, the right one? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no wrong one. Well, I know, but I'm just saying the you, one right one for you. When you meet somebody, yeah, you shouldn't you. be thinking, I'm going to sleep with this person. You should first approach the person like a person and see if you like them. So let's go to the data that I have compiled from these single ladies. I now, can't wait. Yeah. I am not, you know, I want to protect their identity, so I am not going to use their real names. I'm just going to identify Show their them by their social security numbers. So yep. those will be up on the screen and in the comment section. Perfect. All right. So uh, the first question that I asked them, where do you not want to meet a guy? Because there are good and bad places to meet people. In the woods. I think it comes down to <laughs> the, the dumpster person, doesn't behind it? Denny's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two of these girls said at work. And I agree. I think yeah, don't yeah. be a conflict of interest that can get in the way. It can make things weird. Don't. Oh, weird if it goes wrong. You're, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely. Yeah. I think that's a horrible answer. You tell those girls that's a horrible answer. Why? You're telling them right now. Most people spend a lot of their time at work, yeah. and they don't have any other social life but that. I, understand. I think you know that's what? a horrible idea to exclude that. I also think it's a bad question. <laughs> Thick, bad question. <laughs> well, bad answer. Bad question? That? Where do you well, not want to be because met? Because it's like, let's, you, say you're, let's say you're working out at the gym. Oh, there's a lot of pretty girls around here. Maybe I should approach one. No, don't do that because you're going to go to that gym for a while probably. Now I and understand. And now you have to see them yeah. if they have rejected you. So, and- so they don't want to be approached. At work. Look, I think it also depends on the situation. Like when I worked in uh, news, uh, I was in the production department and a lot of people from production would date like a lot of the news anchors. Mm-hmm. But... Like, if there was a breakup, it kind of didn't matter because they were in two separate departments. You didn't have to see each other if you gotcha. didn't want to. So it, it kind of depends on how intimately you work together. And restaurants, bars, stuff like that, they, these environments become very incestuous. Oh, very. Oh, yeah. And they all, like, fucking date each other and hang out with each other and stuff. And it can be good or bad. It comes down to the person, just like most of yeah. these questions will. Like, most of my hookups were at the, like, my bars. bar. I didn't work at it, yeah. but I practically did. I was there <laughs> six <laughs> nights a week. <laughs> you said it was your and, bar. <laughs> and we would eventually, you know, we'd bang through the group and it would be okay. 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 <laughs> 
yeah. a couple of the other answers here. Uh, the ladies' room. That's a place you probably don't want to meet a no, guy. That's a, no, that's that's a really good, good point. Yeah, I mean, she's a bit of a wild card. She's well, a janitor, and you, you can't just, anymore. Has that face? Yeah, right. Not here. <laughs> Thanks a lot, McCrory. She's a jokester. Another one of our little wild card friends says, "My neighborhood," because that means I know how much money you make, and it's not a lot. So there are some shallow <laughs> ladies out there. <laughs> that's uh, fun. I like her. Oh, I want to yeah, date that one. Yeah, oh, she's shit. Yeah. always drunk. Nice. Um, all right. The second question I asked: What are some turnoffs when a guy approaches you? Pepper in your teeth. Pe- pepper spray in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. So what the ladies say? Yeah, I want to hear. Doesn't know when to shut up and rude to others slash service people. Oh yeah, fuck that. Yeah, so like, yeah, that just sounds like he's an awful person. Yeah. yeah. Don't be a butthole. In yeah. my past, yeah, being with uh, a lady that was just kind of a dick to service people was such a huge turnoff. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one constantly talking about what makes him so great. You should never think you're great. Yeah, don't think you're great. Yeah. Sandbag yourself like Simon does. That's right. Yeah. Then they're surprised. They yeah. are. With my mediocrity. <laughs> yeah, they're like, he's not, he's not so bad. And then yeah. you bring up the gaming channel, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. You should start with that. My name's Neebs. <laughs> I tell them all I'm Neebs. <laughs> now, here's something because, Duralius, you met your girlfriend on a dating app. I, I did. It's yeah, Tinder. And I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it at all. It's okay because... I, I've met your girlfriend. We all have, and we think she's great. Oh, she's wonderful. And now I got lucky yeah, as shit. Yeah. yeah. Eh. It's where it oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Eh. You know no, what? She's great. She's that was a jealous eh. <laughs> was mad because she's fucking him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. And let's face yeah. it, again, it comes down to the person. I, I've been working on him so I many years. I met a wonderful person that happened to be on a, uh, a, a dating app that gets a, a hard rap. Yeah, so this girl said, I recently talked to a guy on an online dating app who, within a matter of minutes of chatting, mentioned he'd be out that night and asked me to meet up. When I explained that I was out of town and suggested we plan another time, he was annoyed that I wasn't available. I immediately deleted him. Don't forget you're talking to a woman with a personality and a life, not shopping for a six-pack. Treating another person like they owe you something because you're interested won't get you far. Yeah, no shit. If you're interested in a girl for a relationship, you don't care how long it takes. All right, so the next question that I asked them, where's the best place for a first date? What do you guys think is a good place for a first date? I mean, I always felt like a a restaurant or like doing something like uh, Jungle Rapids. Something fun. I'm 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 Jungle Rapids. (laughs) Jungle Rapids is a go-kart mini golf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, water slide slide. Let's go play Arcade. fucking putt putt and let's ride some golf carts. Let's I, have a good right. ass time. And okay. you know what? That it might be the perfect time. Yeah, hey, I enjoyed it. Every you know time. what? I'm sorry. When you, you went, know, to, yeah. you went to Jungle Cheese. Rapids, immediately, immediately, I thought of the water park. <laughs> <laughs> there was this a little shitty one, and I and that is hysterical. <laughs> hey, okay, grab your bathing suit. We're gonna go slide down some shit. So. <laughs> So that's where my mind went. That's why I thought it was so funny. No, nah, anyway, just just a public place. Okay. Yeah. If you fun, struggle with conversation, it'd be great to have an activity to do. Yes. Yeah. Whether you're taking a, like a, a painting class together, you know, have like the uh, paint and wine wine things yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. That way you have wine. You're painting a picture together. Yeah. You're working together. Yeah, that's. You're good. not having to go. Uh, so how was your week? Right when you meet them, if you have the balls, even go say hi. Just. Really start listening, like not just stare at her and don't have conversation going because that's creepy. That's, but like, that's the pro tip of all tips, right there. When she's talking, don't just nod your head. Soak it in and ask questions about yeah. it. Yeah. Don't be thinking about what you're going to say next. Really? So how long you been there? Been at, where? When you like oh, at, at your work? Then. At my work. Yeah. Where do I work? Yeah. Do you like? I don't know. Just, I wasn't listening. <laughs> He's, I'm not hitting on you, Neebs. I was. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> we should we should do some role play in a minute. <laughs> yeah, oh, that'd be good. I can Ooh, do role that. play. Hey, we can do that. Well, well, I want to be the girl. <laughs> let me go to some of the answers that the girls gave. Uh, one said somewhere chill and not with a lot of people or too loud. That makes sense. So you can talk, get to know each other. Sure. Uh, then I have the opposite here, which is a concert. You can tell a lot about a person from the type of music they like. Well, or you could just talk to them and say what kind of music you like. like. Concert, God, she's so stupid. Concert sounds like a, a really bad idea. Uh, here's one that says coffee shop or evening by the river or <laughs> lake. I still I think of a psychopath. Would, yeah. You want to meet by yeah, the let's, river let's, let's or let's by the lake? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to say her name so bad. And just be like, why do you think? And no, don't do that. Just Retention the pond's a good place to meet. Oh, right. Or it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's by the it's behind the Denny's. <laughs> Everything's at Denny's. Yeah, it is. In my brain. Yeah. yeah. This one says meeting for drinks can be fine to break the ice, but I'd rather do something with an activity. Ooh. Taking a walk on the beach Jungle or at a park, playing miniature golf works. Ooh. So there you go. 
and I guess, it, you know what? If you have dogs, take your dogs out for a walk or take them to the dog park. Yeah, let's fight let, each let other. The dogs and, fuck each yeah, other. Take them doing a legal <laughs> cockfight. <laughs> yeah. I saw some studies where, like, yeah, on some of these dating sites, mm-hmm. uh, a guy with a dog in his picture got more clicks. Oh, sure. But don't do the topless, like, no. flexing no. ones. Oh, yeah, no, that's all it comes off as cheesy. Uh, and a smile. A dog and a smile. There you go. All right. The next question I asked them are, what are the top three qualities you look for in a guy? And a lot of them have very similar answers. Funny is one of the three. That funny. Yeah. But, you know, what? when it comes down to being funny, you don't have to be funny yourself, but if you, if you share a similar sense of humor. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what it comes down to. You can relate to the things that you both think are funny. And yeah, that's maybe it. there's a TV show or a movie or a gaming channel that you both like and that you can talk about and laugh yeah. about. <laughs> Another common quality that these girls look for you just said it, Doralia. Confidence. Confidence. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's good to be confident, not overconfident, but you know that's kind of in line confidence with just can being be, yourself. Yeah, you're okay with are you. you. Are you, you sure don't. you want to eat here? Because I'm. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because I mean, oh, are, don't is be that. Okay. Don't be did that. I, are you okay? Did I say okay? something wrong? No, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. Are, are you I'm sure sorry. you're okay? Are yeah. You? And confidence doesn't mean being like I a tough me. man. No, no, no. It's like, hey, look, I like pizza with anchovies on it. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't. I think that's but I'm a, saying it like whatever you like. Yeah, just be honest. That's what I, you like. Yeah. I like stupid music. I like whatever. That's my thing. <laughs> the last question I asked these ladies was, what is the best advice you can give to a guy to make a good first impression? Good question. One Vic. said, have a beard. Simon, you're, you're in luck. Someone well, said have a beard? Have a beard. That's weird. so last year. Yeah. No, some uh, girls hate facial hair. No, I know. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. on a case. She's, being case. Silly. Yeah, she's a hipster. Okay. Well, yeah, she is. Uh, here's one that says, be genuine. Good eye contact and accurately represent your true self. Yeah, just be you. Another one says, show a genuine interest in learning about me as a person. There you go, listening. Ask a thing or two rather than trying to prove your worth. Yep. Uh, Another one says, be engaging. And the last one says, be yourself. Being straight up saves everyone time. Make the girl laugh, and you're already in good. Can we do this role play thing now? Yeah, sure, let's do a role play. (laughs) Needs, you're the lady, Simon. You're trying to pick him up. Dralis, you're the bartender. That's what. That's. Exactly. I like that. I like that. I'm formula. the lady. You're the lady. All right. Oh, this the is worst. Right. This because is the this best. is a very real situation. It is. Is it? Right. This isn't a Tinder date. I don't pick up ladies though. Well, no, I you're not picking to. them up. Just, you're not. Just you're use not. some of the advice that we heard from these kind ladies. Here's here's the scenario, Simon. In yeah. more specifics. Okay. Um, Neebs, the woman, mm-hmm. uh, sitting at the bar. You're at the other side of the bar, just kind of cutting up with some friends. Yeah. Neebs has looked at you several times. Yeah. It's very obvious that Neves has got his eye on you, her eye on you. Okay, and, so we're uh, in a bar drinking situation. Yeah, and and uh, Neves is a um, Jets fan, because there's a Jets game plan at the bar. Is that football? Okay. That, yes. Oh, God. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Ready? Uh, You're a Jet real, fan? That's bad. We can't do that. Well, real quick, I want to be involved in some minor way, but not a lot. I can be, can I be the homeless guy that walks by uh, asking for a change? <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah, just, just yeah. real quick. I yeah, said, yeah, 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 well, yeah. That's fine. That's you, fine. We could. I know how I'll react to it. He'll, he'll have his own reaction. Vic, will you be a part of this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's the thing. This is where the, the true challenge comes. <clears throat> Your Neves is best friend. Oh, am I a guy or a girl? Girl. Sweet. But you come in later. Here we'll, we go. We'll see what happens. All right. And here we go. Action. All right. Hey. Hello. Hey. You want a shot? <laughs> huh? You want a shot? We're doing shots. You want a shot? No, I'm just waiting on my friend. She's in the bathroom. Ah. Uh, I have not seen you here before. Well, I'm here three nights out of the week. Hey, I'm Simon. Hello, Simon. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, can I get you anything? Uh, yeah, well, I'll... Uh, what do you want? I'll, I'll buy you a drink. I'll be cliche. Um, I'm... We're going to be leaving soon, so just uh, a soda. A soda for you? What do you want, buddy? Uh, I'll take a shot of Jack and yeah. uh, a soda. Jack and... Uh, together yeah. or the yeah. separate? Jack and soda or a Jack and a soda? I'll take it together. So a drink? Yeah, sounds good. Listen, you're killing my, my vibe here. I'm trying to pick up the lady. What's that? I'm trying to hook up with this young lady. I'm trying lady. to take what your you, fucking what order. You, what did you say your name was? I'm trying on? to take your fucking the order. Bartender's trying to take your order. Okay, this isn't working. Is I would have walked you? away by now. Is he bothering you? Well, he's kind of being rude to you. Which he's, this, hey. This guy was just ordering some weird whiskey soda drink and being rude to the bartender. Yeah, a what? Jack and soda is if I know what kind of soda he wants. Do you know him? Soda water? No, he just came over here. I heard, <laughs> I heard you like the Jets. Because I told you. I'm trying to talk They're, here. Because the game's Do they play uns- football? Yeah. The Jets are, that's the game right there. Do you like Decker? This isn't going anywhere. Seriously, <laughs> is he bothering you? Because shit's a little weird. No, he seems harmless. He just seems confused and lost. Okay, well, I'll get you a 
Jack and a random soda, and I'll get you a soda. I'll be right back. Okay, you can bring it over to the other side of the bar. I'm going to go back and hang out with my friends because this isn't working out. No, I can bring it right here. For well, I'm going to walk over there. This isn't working. I, you're obviously... Are you interested in me? Have you ever heard of a channel called Neebs Gaming? Hey, guys! Who's got a... <laughs> Uh, How many times have I said, <laughs> yeah. please don't come in the bar? You can't. Sorry, man. Just look at it now. Well, uh, I don't know how to do this. I can't do this. I'm, I'm, I'm striking out here. Well, I don't, I don't think she really shut you down. I think you just kind of made things really shit weird. Got, shit you got didn't weird. Take you know any to the, it any has this vice. I, it's, it's kind of hard to feel it when it's needs <laughs> that I'm looking at, and I'm not really hanging out having fun at a bar. I think and right he's up. not acting like he was eyeing no, me up. No, I wasn't making it easy. No, I was making you work can't for make it, it easy. I think it started off real good with the hello. <laughs> <laughs> don't start with that. Just like say I, hello like a person I would. I don't. <laughs> well. Usually I'm not hitting on things that look like you. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so it's going to be really hard for us to do this. You know? and that's an example of what not to do. So we just went over some uh, ways to talk to women <laughs> and gave a very clear cut example on how not to do it at the very end of this video. But I want to thank the ladies who participated in my little questionnaire. It was very good advice. Yeah, if you want to meet somebody, I think the big thing here is just be yourself. And remember, women are different. Everybody's different. They all like different things. They're people just like you are. You may or may not be right for each other. And don't right. force it. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We hope that you meet the woman of your dreams. Or, or the, the man, man of your or dreams. The man of your or dreams. the man of your dreams. We didn't go over men. We didn't go over men. Nope, that's this a different just, video. It's a different video. We don't hope you meet the man of your dreams yet if until we go over that. We're Simon, yeah. put that list together. I'm all over it. Peace.